Now, believe it or not, once upon a time, the River Thames used to wash up right where we're standing, and it used to hit that wall behind you. That archway there used to be the main riverside entrance into the Tower of London. Now, I don't know why William the Conqueror chose to build his royal palace under the flight path of Heathrow Airport, <laughs> but he did, so occasionally it makes a noise. So the River Thames used to go right back there. That is until the reign of Edward I. Well, when he became the King of England, he was quite a clever man. He was renowned for being a builder. He changed the course of the River Thames. He pushed it back some 50 metres behind me, thereby creating a great space. And it was at the same time that he built this outer defensive wall that goes all the way around the Tower of London. Now, back then, you need to understand that building technology changed. He moved out of the drafty White Tower into a new medieval palace that he just, well, just had to build it for himself at the same time. So if you go up these steps here on my left, that will take you through the Great Hall. Eventually, you'll come through to the King's bedroom. Now, all the furniture and bits and pieces you see in that room are original, and they date back to the period. Eventually, you're going to go over this small causeway into the upper part of the Wakefield Tower. It's in there where you'll find the old throne room. That is where royalty used to do its business. Inside there also is a very small private chapel. It's where the kings and queens of England went for private worship each morning and each evening. But it's in that chapel, in fact, that a king of England, Henry VI, was murdered. That man was stabbed in the back 14 times whilst praying in May 1471. Now we believe that his grisly murder took place because of, well there's no easy way to say it, because of one of the atrocities that we committed here in the Tower of London in the King's name. Now unfortunately in England we have had a couple of civil wars. One of them was known as the War of the Roses. Now, it was during that conflict that a very famous battle took place outside of a town called Wakefield. When that battle was over, 191 prisoners were taken. We brought them here to the Tower of London. We crammed them into the basement of that tower behind you. We locked the door. And we left them to die in appalling conditions. It took 12 days before the last poor unfortunate soul died in the Wakefield Tower. Now, when you go into the basement of that building, it is still a horrible, evil, dark and damp smelling place. It's in there that you will find instruments of torture like the rat. But should you go in, I respectfully ask that maybe you just want to pause for a moment and reflect and think about all those poor unfortunate souls who lost their lives in the basement of that tower.